The holidays are a time of family, friends, good cheer, and merriment. The season only comes around once a year, which reminds us how special it is. Could you imagine being stuck in winter forever? Well, that's exactly what happened long ago to a little village when the Winter Witch tried to make winter last year round. The witch had tricked Father Frost, who normally changes the season from winter to spring, and trapped them inside an ice dungeon. The villagers were cold and hungry. It was up to one girl, with a warm heart, to save her people and bring spring back to the world. It's another day of snow. Will it ever stop? Don't know. The crops are bad. My people are sad. And I don't know where to go. This bread's as hard as ice. And this winter's not very nice The yeast won't rise My poor wife's eyes Will be on the street with the mice It's another day of snow Will it ever stop? Not likely! The snow is so high, it touches the sky, and we're stuck here below. as a sling to keep your arm in place. How does that feel? Better. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Of course. Friends help each other out when they can. Are you going to the town meeting? It's starting soon. Oh, I'd almost forgotten. I'll finish feeding my animal friends and then I'll be on my way. See you there. Thanks again. It's another day of snow. Will it ever stop? Don't know. The snow Goodness, I'm so, so cold. cold. Oh, the last time what are we going to do? Oh, well, someone's got to do sorry, something. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can. We need someone so to help us. I'm sure that we're going to have a gone from the next frostbite. Frostbite. That's it. I can't take it anymore. Someone has to do something. It's been so cold for so long. We're running out of food. We ran out of food days ago. But what should we do? Someone needs to go up the mountain and talk to Father Frost in his ice palace. Father Frost will change the season from winter to spring. But who will go? I'm ready to go. But I'm afraid I'm too old and slow to reach the peak on time. If only I were 20 years younger. Don't worry, Grandfather. I'll go. <gasps> what? No, not you. You're too young and tender for such a hard job. You don't even have a warm coat. No hat, no scarf. Not even woolen mittens. I'm not afraid. My feet are strong, and I'm as fast as a mountain goat. But you'll freeze up there with no shelter to hide from the frost. I will not. I have a warm heart full of love for everyone. It will save me from the frost. Oh, child, you're too kind. But these people are right. You have no coat or hat to keep you warm. She can have my coat. It's nice and warm. And my mittens. Here, take my scarf. Look, even the animals are helping. They're trying to keep her warm. Thank you all so much. Now I can go up to the mountain to see Father Frost. It's the least we can do. You always help us when we need it. Can I go now, Grandfather? Go, my child. I know your heart and I trust it. In no time at all, the girl was making her way up the mountain. With the clothes she received from her friends and her company of animal companions, she was warm and protected. She traveled for what seemed like forever until she reached the peak of the mountain. 
She could see the ice palace where Father Frost would be. As she approached, the winter winds began to howl and moan at her arrival. They were furious to see a human in their domain. Look at that girl! Who does she think she is? Away with her! Let's blow! Let's toss her around until she forgets where she's heading. When the whirlwinds swirl, bad news to this girl. No mortal man can stand the world. We'll blow and show her what we can do. The wind is really blowing, but I've got to keep going. How is she standing? We gave it everything we had. We blew and blew and blew. No man has ever outmastered us. Let alone such a fragile little girl. Let's attack her again. You may attack her if you wish, but I have no drop of strength left. I'll need a good rest to recover. But we can't let her go unpunished. Let's call our sisters the blizzards to help us. They are stronger than us. Blizzards! What is going on? This girl, she's too strong for us. She cannot reach the palace. If she wakes Father Frost, he will turn the season to spring, and we will be no more. We will stop her. She will pay for this. When the blizzards blow the camp below, we make the scary. Too much to handle. My heart is warm, my heart is good, filled with love for all. I must go on, I must stay strong for me and for all I love. What? She's untouchable. We need to call our mother for help. The Winter Witch! Mother! 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 Mother, we need your help! This girl is walking up the mountain towards the ice palace! We were unable to stop her! That's enough! I've seen it all! Now, listen to me. When you cannot defeat someone by force, turn things the other way around. Let's be good to her. What do you mean? Shall we kiss her? Nothing of the sort. If we show her kindness, she will never suspect us of any evil thoughts. <laughs> Watch, my children. It looks as if the winds have stopped blowing. And just in time, I was beginning to lose hope that I would ever get past them. Hello. A am I dreaming? Or are you my mother? Yes, child. You have done good. Now rest for a while and shut your eyes. But, but I have to see Father Frost. You've done plenty, child. Sleep now, and you shall sleep forever! <laughs> Hope seemed lost. Until, after a while, the goyle's animal companions, the squirrels, popped up out of the snow and crowded the goyle. They tried to warm her, but it had no effect. The squirrels then called their friends the rabbits, who surrounded the girl and warmed her heart. The girl's cheeks went from yellow to blue, then back to red as her animal friends kept warming her. My friends, you saved me from the cold, and not a moment too soon. Come, let's go to the Palace of Ice. This is the door to the palace. It doesn't sound like anybody's home. The door is unlocked. Come on, let's keep going. Hello, Father Frost, anybody? <gasps> Father Frost, he's not waking. Friends, I need to ask you for your help again. Can you help me wake Father Frost? <laughs> Achoo! What? Oh, 
Oh, hello, little friends. What are you doing here in my palace of ice? Father Frost! And who are you, little one? I'm a poor orphan from a nearby village. I've come to ask you to bring spring to my people. We have been suffering under a never-ending winter brought on by the Winter Witch. Never-ending winter by the Winter Witch? She must have spelled me to sleep in order to stop spring from coming. Can you help me? Of course, little one. But first, I need to have a word with the witch. What's going on? Where am I? Winter Witch, you have committed a terrible crime by spelling me to sleep and stopping spring from coming. Because of this, you will be locked in an icy cell for the rest of time. Please, Father Frost, have mercy on me. I'm sorry. This is the last trick you will pull on me, witch. Wait, please up the winter witch but child she tried to freeze you and she spelled me to sleep the winter witch just wanted to stop spring from coming so she could be with her children the whirlwinds and the blizzards winter witch is this true yes i can only see my children when the ground is covered in snow the rest of the time we are apart locked away in an ice dungeon until the next winter she was just trying to do what is best for her children just like how I am doing what is best for my people. Then what do you suppose I do? What if the Winter Witch and her children went somewhere else? What? Hmm. Child, you are wise beyond your years. Winter Witch, I will not lock you away. Oh, thank you! From this day forward, you and your children will be free to be together throughout the year. However, you must constantly travel from place to place, village to village, bringing winter with you, never staying too long or coming too early. Thank you, Father Frost, and thank you, young one. Father Frost, can you still bring spring to my people? Yes, child. I will clear the skies so the sun will shine and melt the snow. also send you home to your people. Thank you, Father Frost. Goodbye. Goodbye, Winter Witch. You've done it, child. And look, spring has come. The spring has come again Because of the girl and her friends The sun will shine Oh no, look! It's the Winter Witch! She's here to bring a never-ending winter! Don't worry, everyone. She's not going to bring any winter here for a while. We just came to say goodbye before we left to spread winter somewhere else. Thank you again, little one. You have brought peace to the seasons. Bye goodbye! Now. Take Thank you so much! Bye. Stay frosty! Be straight to winter! You've done it, child! You've saved the village with your bravery and kind heart. And that's the story of how an unlikely hero saved not only her village, but the seasons themselves. Remember, as long as your heart is warm and full of love, anything is possible. Happy holidays, and enjoy your winter while it lasts, you bunch of bozos.